cartel drug lord El Chapo became a household name, but now that he's in prison, another cartel is poised to take territory, including right here in KC. The Louisville Courier Journal just published a report detailing a nine month investigation into El Mencho, the leader of the cartel Jalisco Nuevo Generacion, noting their presence in both KCK and also Missouri. The newspaper says members of a cartel cell in Kansas City with drug houses in both Kansas and Missouri between 2013 and 2016 splurged on $10,000 tickets to rapper Pitbull's concert and a Louis Vuitton purse. Well, that caught our attention, and KCTV5's Betsy Webster found out more. The head of the Jackson County Drug Task Force told me that every illegal drug in Kansas City, except for marijuana, has some sort of ties to a Mexican cartel. The top two being Sinaloa and CJNG out of Jalisco. When you think illegal drugs, you might think of people in and out at all hours, but cartel leaders live in much more discreet setups. Jackson County Drug Task Force officer in charge, Dan Cummings, asked that we not show his face because he works in covert operations. She had wife, three children, I think. They were all in school over in Raytown. Nice middle class family. That's his recollection of a Sinaloa captain who was living in the metro a couple years ago using construction and remodeling as his front. Picture this, five gallon buckets of paint. Well, some of them were filled with paint and others were filled with liquid methamphetamine. You could leave a lot of that sitting around a fixer-upper and exchanging hands with little suspicion. We were buying multiple kilos of methamphetamine at Home Depot. Unbeknownst to the store, his undercover crew would routinely pick up product in parking lots in the middle of the day. He was not familiar with the CJNG splurge at the Sprint Center on $10,000 tickets to a Pitbull concert, but says CJNG cells have existed on and off all around the metro to include not just Casey Moe and Casey K, but Lee Summit, Belton, Grandview, Raytown, Independence, and Overland Park. There are dozens and dozens of established cells working right now in this area. He says the violence associated with turf wars over transportation routes to the United States is primarily confined to Mexico. He says the two cartels have had pretty much a gentleman's agreement here in the United States to let people do business, but there is still violence associated with the commercial side of those transactions. Betsy Webster, KCTV5 News.